Good afternoon, Ashley and Sam. It's Kerry here from Pacific Tone Lexus Cans. So what I would like to do for you today is a personalised high definition virtue tour of our 2018 Mitsubishi Pajero Sport GLS wagon, 4x4, seven seater turbo diesel. So basically, as you can see in the background, that's the city of Cairns. That's about a kilometre and a half north of Cairns itself. Um, we're actually sitting on one of our main pre-owned uh, yards here at 77 Mulgrave Road. We also do have another second pre-owned yard that's about 235 Mulgrave Road south of Cairns on the left-hand side. Next to that yard is our new franchise yard, new cars and Lexus as well, parts and service department. So I want to tell you a little bit more about our dealership here. We've been here for the last 40 plus years. Um, basically what we actually, I've been working for Pacific Toyota for the last two years and we also stock around about 150 to 215 cars at all months. So we also buy exactly the same amount of cars every month in and month out. So I'm just going to show you what cars we have in stock at the moment. As you can see SUVs, dual cabs, wagons, four drives and also our hatchback sedans as well too. So as you can see in the background there, that's our showroom floor. So it's two stories, and that's one of our staff members there. That's Tony. So as I'm getting closer to the vehicle now, Sam and Ashley, I'm gonna go through the vehicle itself, um, make sure I can show if there's any bad perfections on the vehicle, any stone chips, any dents on the paint, um, even on the gutter rash on your wheels. Just go through the tires, wheel arches, interior, exterior of the motor vehicle. So I want to get straight into it. I'm going to get straight into the front bar and just give you a look straight away. So as you can see, that's the front bar of the uh, Mitsubishi Pajero Sport. They come with a set of fog lights as factory anyway on it. Nice chrome grille, as you can see the chrome grille on it. And there also is a few little uh, stone chips. I can get a little bit more closer to you. So I can see that there's one and there's two there. And there's a couple up here as well too. So I'm gonna go up onto the bonnet, just giving you a look at the bonnet itself, just to make sure how shiny that paint is, how it's been looked after. There's one right here as well too. I really can't hide it, but I've got to show you anyway, but I can get that fixed on delivery. Up onto the windscreen, just make sure there is no cracks in the windscreen itself or any chips. Fantastic, that looks pretty good. So just looking down the side of the vehicle now, I know it's a little bit hard. I'm here at the front of the vehicle dealership at the moment. I'm just gonna make my way down the side of the vehicle. Fantastic, that paint looks pretty good. It's tidy, there's no perfections in it. There's no ripples in the paint. Okay, I'm just gonna make my way up onto the roof right now just to make sure there is no hail damage or any bad perfections up on the roof. open up on the uh, passenger door now just looking at the trim work for you just make sure there is no bad scuff marks on the trim down on the kick panel in through the carpet and up onto the dash so as you can see on the passenger side it's got the electric seats and over onto the uh, trim. This is the rear passenger oh, yeah. kick panel. Over onto the back trim of the seats. As you can see that they're full leather seats. They've been looked after really well. Okay, just looking at the rear of the vehicle right now, just going down onto the uh, rear bar. You can see that they got the factory sensors on it. So there's one, two, three, four. Fantastic. And just making sure that there is no uh, bad 
directions on the uh, where the kick panel is. Up through inside the back of the vehicle itself, the seats are folded down. Okay, on the back of the tailgate you see a reverse camera factory. And just having a look around the, the rear on the uh, tailgate as well too. Just to see how clean and tidy that is. Just looking back now to the front of the vehicle, I'm going to make my way to the front right now. Alright, fantastic, that looks pretty good. There's no ripples in the paint, that looks awesome. Just going to go around the wheel arch now. Look how much tread we got on those tyres, pretty good. Around the rims itself, onto the side steps, around the back of the rear arch. Feel how much tread in those tyres as well too. Just on the tyre itself, around the rims. That looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm just going to open up the passenger door now. On the driver's side, just looking at the trim. Down onto the kick panel, up onto the back of the seat. Okay, so I'm just gonna open up the driver's side seat door now and just go through the trim on that one. As you can see, you've got your electric windows, you're locking your windows and your central locking. Down onto the kick panel, back up. Before I go any further, have you got your sensors here, your traction control and your crash point unit? You've got your push button start, your electric mirrors, and you can fold in mirrors as well too. Up onto the dash. Over on the passenger seat. And onto the driver's side seat now. Just only got your electric seat, so you can move them forward, back and forth, up and down. Okay, I'm just gonna make my way into the uh, vehicle right now. As I'm working my way in, I'm going to turn it on. As you can see on the uh, the cluster, as of the where the odometer reading is, done 54,926 on the clock. Okay, just looking around the steering wheel as well, just make sure that there is no bad scuff marks or any marking on the steering wheel, how it's actually been looked after. Just on the left side of the steering wheel, you have a few functions. You've got your volume control on one side. You've got your source, so you can turn your audio sound system on and off as well. And then you've got, that's your part of here as well. And then you've got your voice control, your Bluetooth. And then on the right of the steering wheel, you've got your cruise control as well. On that side, you've got your adaptable cruise control. So you can change your distance on your cruise from your 20 to 10 to 30 meters person in front of you and just having a look at the audio sound system so you can connect that with your phone so you can got your Apple CarPlay can run through there in Android and then you've got your climate control so you've got your passenger temperature and then you've got your right driver's side as well you can now turn the air conditioning up in the center part And then just underneath that as well too, you've got your locking diff lock for your rear lockers, and then you've got your air conditioning for your back rear. So turning that on. In the center part, you've got your four drives to action. So your two high, your four high, your four high low, and then your four low low. So you can adjust it with your hill descent. That's these buttons here. And then you've got your parker's brakes. So turn it off and pull it up and turn it back on. You got your cup holders in the middle of the center console. Over on the footwell or the uh, passenger side. And then you've got your log books and service history there. 
as I'm showing you through your logbooks itself. Um, I believe it's got all the service history there, as you can see that. Look through the video. So it's done its 15,000, 18,000, 36. Then it's done 46, and its last one's done at 54. Perfect. Okay, just coming to the end of the video right now. I'm gonna go through the engine bay right now. Um, just to give you a look inside the engine itself. in there, but I want to definitely show you a little bit more closer in the video. Alright Sam and Ashley, that is actually coming to the end of the video right now. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give me a call or send me a text message. Thank you very much, and we'll talk to you soon.